My name is Zach, C-A-C-K. And your last name? Clardy, C-L-A-R-D-Y. And uh, what's your title with your leaders? Um, I work in operations. Okay, and tell me a little bit about what's going on here today. Well, what we're doing today is we are repairing the lighting and uh, the finish on the uh, existing Brown Street sign. Um, the city was wise enough to ask us to do that while we were replacing the sign on the other end of the street that got damaged. So it's kind of a twofer. Okay, and then, you know, is, you said it's going to go to the other side of the street tomorrow? Or? Yeah, it'll be tomorrow, weather permitting, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if you know the full story, but a, uh, a semi-truck tried to make a turn onto Coffee Street off of North Street and basically obliterated the sign. So we were asked to rebuild the sign and replace it. So this is part of what we're doing. And it's been almost a year. I mean, I know things take time, but yep. it's definitely something that people know. If you're from sure. Google, you, you recognize the sign. So to be able to rebuild it, what does that mean for your company to be able to keep this staple in Greenville? Well, you know, it was, uh, it was a big honor for us to be able to do it for James uh, Mosley, the, uh, the guy at our head of design at our shop, who uh, came up with the concept and won the uh, commission to do the the uh, original sign so it's nice to be able to put it back because the city could have made the decision that they didn't need it because it is art so it, it's great that we get to put it back and what's the process i know you said you guys are kind of working on lighting and cleaning it up a little bit and just making sure it's ready to go to the other side sure, what sure. does the process look like today and hopefully tomorrow well, today, what, like I said, what we're doing is we're ripping out the old lighting, um, and that's kind of become a necessity because uh, LED lighting has moved so far into the future since eight years ago that the, the lighting would have been drastically different, so it's just a chance for us to upgrade what we have here. We're doing some touch-up on the paint here since we're going to be here, and then tomorrow we'll be actually setting the columns that you see in the archway if uh, the weather holds out, we hope. And is there anything, I mean, about the sign, like how, you know, like you said, the Greenville didn't have to put the sign back after it was knocked down. So what does it mean to be able to bring this sign back a year after it was knocked down? Well, it's a real real honor for us to be able to do this a second time. And, and like I said, it's a great opportunity to have another piece of art in Greenville. And, and the, the art itself kind of speaks to the Greenville area with the... Uh, the stacks that look like the Poe Mill that represents the textile industry that used to be here and the vines growing out of the top that you can see there. So it, it, it meant a lot to us eight years ago and it means a lot to us still today. So. And can you talk a little bit about the concept of the sign a little bit? Sure. So like I said, the, the stacks that you see there represent the smokestacks at uh, basically Poe Mill because that's one of the most iconic smokestacks in Greenville. Uh, but, you know, you see smokestacks of the old textile mills all over the place, and it kind of represents a rebirth of Greenville from the textile industry failing to the, to the regrowth of what Greenville is today, which is the smoke that you see and the fabric of hope is the band. that'll be in place for two days? Yeah, sure. Um, hopefully we will be done with the uh, detouring of Brown Street by tomorrow. It should be a one-day install, like I keep saying, weather permitting. Um, and we'll be out of the way and everybody can enjoy the sign and the street again. Um, and what happens if the weather isn't good? I know there's possibly forecasted rain. Um, yep. So, like, what's the plan, hopefully, to get as, it? As soon as the rain breaks, we'll be out here setting this. And is there anything else that you want to add? Well, just... Um, Thanks to the city of Greenville for allowing us to, to be a part of this again and, and to have the vision to have uh, public art in Greenville. It's a great thing, and we love being a part of it at the Heirloom Company. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. <laughs>